Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video uh, kind of showing what my two-step wash process looks like. Uh, I'm still fairly new to the game. Uh, I've been doing fleet washing since November 2022, so I'm kind of going on like month four of it here, and I'm only like two months into my two-step. But I didn't see a whole lot of videos that were really well put together, so I wanted to put something together. And uh, man, if I was going back four months and I could see this information, I think that would be really helpful for me. So hopefully it can help you as well. So right here, I'm waiting for my chemical to come through. I'm using my first step, which is gonna be an acid. It's a low pH. It's gonna help break down the uh, electrostatic uh, bond that's holding the dirt and uh, debris on the vehicle. And it's also gonna brighten metals such as aluminum. So if you look at that aluminum on the bottom of the truck with the reflective tape on it, uh, you'll see that it kind of starts off pretty red and then by the time we're completely done, it's gonna be uh, bright white and I didn't even have to touch it. So right now I'm switching over to my soap, which is my number two. It's gonna be a high pH. Uh, and I still got about 10 to 15 seconds worth of chemical in my line, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my acid. Um, just the undercarriage here. And then once I see my soap coming through, then I'll transition back onto the truck itself. And notice that I'm not using a ton of pressure while putting this on there. I'm just trying to get it on there and let it do its work. You don't really need to wait between your step one to, you, to your step two. Um, sometimes it can help to leave it on there a little bit, you know, if you're trying to kind of brighten aluminum or if you've got some really stubborn dirt, it may be helpful to let the, se uh, the second step sit there. You don't want to let it dry. So at this point, I'm going to switch over to my water. And again, I've got 10 to 15 seconds worth of chemical in my line. This is 100 feet of hose at four gallons a minute. Uh, and so I'm just going to kind of give everything a once over down here. You can already see that aluminum changing uh, color to a pretty bright white um, color. Now, the first time you guys wash a truck that has not been um, either two-stepped or washed with your specific chemicals, it's a really good idea to brush it. So I would recommend do your step one, your acid, use your base, and then come back with a brush. Uh, that's gonna help loosen up all the debris and it's gonna add a lubricity. The, the, the soap is um, gonna add some lubricity there so you don't end up scratching the vehicle. But you wanna get that down to its bare, uh, basically the bare finish of the, the vehicle. Uh, and then from there, it's gonna kind of act as a seasoning on like a cast iron skillet is the way that I describe it. Uh, it doesn't leave like a, a finish like you would see with a polish, but those soaps stay on there. And when you come back to it in the future, it's gonna become a lot easier to clean off. In this case, this vehicle gets washed probably every two weeks or so, uh, and so it's pretty easy. This one isn't super dirty in the video, but there's a bunch of volcanic rock that they use on the roads up here instead of using salt, and that stuff is stuck all over it, and that's part of why the uh, aluminum on the bottom was so red starting off. I get my chemicals through Northwest Chemicals uh, in Woodland, Washington. Uh, Dave Roberts is a really fantastic guy, and I get a lot of my equipment through Scott Traffigan. Uh, he sells uh, the two-step remote system that I've got here um, and a bunch of other stuff. He does van builds, um, box trucks, trailers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's also a really good idea to understand your wa uh, wastewater laws in your area. So right here, this is going into a grassy swale, which allows me to be within the regulations here um, in the Northwest. Other parts of the country, you may not need to worry so much about it, but I really recommend that you guys at least have a base understanding. Uh, that way you keep yourself and your clients out of trouble. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Um, I am in no way an expert, uh, but I love helping people and I'm not here trying to make a buck off you. So if you guys have any questions, anything that I can help you with, um, feel free to uh, either leave a comment down below or feel free to uh, DM, reach out to me. I'm happy to help.